Hello everyone, welcome back with the another video on React Native Mobile App Development. So in this video, we are going to learn that how we can implement the Axios Post API, which take on URL encoded data, and we will fetch the list of all the shops. For those who are new, they can check my previous video. I am giving the link in the description and so right now after getting the location uh, we have to fetch the address from the location so we have already done this thing and those who haven't uh, seen my video on uh, like how you can fetch the address from let long they can check uh, the description is uh, the link of this video is also in the description okay yeah this is the function okay so let me copy it paste it over here okay and so the let long let long will be coming from this location object so it will give latitude and longitude so have we have to say location dot latitude location dot longitude so let's just print the address fetched address okay let's see geocoder and define okay we have to import the geocoder import geocoder okay let's save it okay okay uh, yeah and one more thing that uh, in uh, in every file that you use the geocoder you have to uh, uh, you have to like provide your google api key and this google api key will be coming from my i already save it in my uh, config folder okay so you have to provide your google api key which will be placed over here now you can use geocoder ok so we already used the geocoder and this is the address that we are getting fetching ok so we have to pass this address in our uh, in our uh, api so let ha let's head over to the api so this is the post api it will take three things email api token and address so it will uh, give you the list of the shops that are in the that are in the uh, in the specific address let's just uh, call a function right up here. so let's uh, say a async function will be like get near by shops and it will take a parameter of address okay so we can call it after that get nearby shops and we will pass fetch address in this so we already uh, implemented axios and already done the api integration stuff so uh, this video the api integration with axios we already done it and for those guys who are new they can check this video also so the link will be in the description okay so we have to do some things few things like in api we have to provide our endpoint get nearby shops okay and save it get near by shops okay save it and in this we have to import it get near by shops and another thing that we need is our axios client like this okay and one more thing that we need is 
so in our sign in screen we all already implemented the api so let's just copy the stuff from here and paste it here okay so api params what will be the api params there are three api params like email we need email let's quickly copy it email email api token and address okay and let's just provide email so for providing email we have to fetch our the data from our async storage so again for those guys who are new they can check my video how you can store the data in async storage the link will be in the description so let's copy our previous code my shop okay in here you can yeah Okay, let's come over here and use effect. Use effect we already have the use effect. So let's just copy this and paste it over here. And uh, so copy the function. Okay. So we need this function. So let's import it score get from async storage and we will set the user so we will have to we need a use state of user like this okay so this is uh, this is done getting the user data so after getting the user data how we can use it okay user dot user api token email just copy it to get the email email and uh, this is our api token Okay, so if I go to this, this it will be user dot yeah token, and after this in address just pass the address. Okay, now we need a loader, so let's just copy the user state loading from here. Okay, and all what else do we need? Console dot log data access data toast to the message. We don't need this, don't need this. Okay, and login. Okay, in case of any error we are printing a toast message so oh, yeah so one more thing that we need here is our spinner app loader okay so app loader spinner and it will take a Loader spinner will take a thing, it's not loaded. Import app loader spinner, okay, and it will take a prop visible which will be come from loading side, okay. So right uh, again i am telling you guys that who are new to this video i have explained all the things in my previous video 
like how you can show the toast messages okay and how you can create your app loader spinner all the things okay now let's just save it and see what we got getting an error that undefined ok toast message we have to import the toast message toast message now save it invalid data ok guys so when you are dealing with the apis like post api and it will take parameter inside the body inside the form you are encoded so you have to pass your this key and values like uh, in this way so first of all you have to take a query string and then you have to make a const params and query string dot string phi and in in string phi you have to pass your object okay and in object all the parameters that you are passing and uh, after that you have to simply do like axios client post and this is your endpoint and this is your params that's that's it you have to do okay so okay let me refresh it and as you can see shop, as you can see that shop are found so we are successfully getting the data okay guys so that's it for today's video i hope you like the video so if you like it then hit the like button and if you are new to the channel then subscribe to the channel and if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section so see you in the next video till then take care bye